what you need to know, traveling solo. So maybe you just recently got out of a really long-term relationship. Maybe you went through a divorce. Maybe you're just finding yourself happier being single. But you want to travel and you've never really traveled by yourself. This is the video for you. So I'm going to go over my journey on how I overcame anxiety and traveling alone, as well as the things that I've joined to strengthen my travels, like to make them easier on me and the planning and uh, meeting new people and actually scheduling. We're going to go over that in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, make sure that you are following the account here because I talk a lot about travel. I also have a YouTube channel under my same name. You can follow me there. All the information is in my bio. Just click on that link and you'll see everything there. To start off, I like to say traveling solo now is so much easier than it was like four years ago when I started. So when I first started out on solo traveling, I had no like ambition to leave anywhere without my kids or my spouse at the time. But I was already separated from my spouse off and on for about a year and I wasn't taking them back. That's another whole story. But it was done. It was done and we started the divorce proceedings. But... I still wanted to travel. I canceled all my travel plans for two years, uh, going through ups and downs in my marriage. And I was ready to get out there in any way, shape, or form that I could possibly manage, even with uh, just one income, even with all the struggles that comes with still having a house and pets and kids to take care of by myself. So I just wanted to travel. That's all I, that's all I knew. But of course, I still have responsibilities. But we're not talking about that in the video. We're talking about solo traveling. So solo traveling, like I said, it was very difficult. The first, like, two trips, I would say, it was just ultimately, like, like I just wanted to turn around. Let's just put it that way. I made myself drive to my first one, and I didn't take a plane. And so it would have been easy for me just to turn around and just say, forget it. <laughs> but I just kept pushing myself. And during that time, I actually made a lot of friends that were also single. So that actually helped strengthen um, me in continuing traveling by myself because I was watching their stories and I was seeing what they were doing. And so that opened me up into feeling okay with traveling by myself. I also joined an MLM company at the time, which is network marketing company. And it was... Um, essentially going to be a travel company and uh, started building that out. It was another company before that was in supplements. Unfortunately, that didn't work out. They had to go back to selling supplements and uh, just really just wanted to stay in that community and travel with them. But as we neared COVID, obviously, I knew that wasn't going to be possible with remaining in that team and traveling. It just wasn't a possibility. So I started traveling uh, by myself with my kids. I would like to say about myself with my kids because I was the only adult. I still had to maintain everything and I still had those responsibilities. And to do so, I actually bought an RV and I started traveling that way. Now, I was still like going traveling about myself and in other aspects through um, networking events. So I joined different networking events. I had different coaches in business. Now you can get a coach in anything and go to any type of retreat and that's gonna make life easier on you as a solo traveler. So I highly recommend you checking out retreats, you check out uh, business mentorship programs, you check out personal development programs and just go to them. That is going to give you the confidence to travel more by yourself. Uh, for like locations to go by yourself, try local areas like three hours away, four hours away, stay in the night and then come back home the next day. You don't have to like go out of the country to do solo trips. Okay. So make it easier on yourself until you get the confidence and more comfortable in traveling by yourself. So in this clip, I am in Dominican Republic. I am with now my MLM company that I've been a part of for the last um, few years and I really enjoy it. And we have a diverse group of travelers that travel.